Hello there guys, I'm starting off this video in a little bit of a different place. We're in the airport, I've got Mike here with me, um, and we are super early for our flight today, so I thought, why not do a real-time airport haul and have a look around, there's a few things I wanted to look at, um, and see what we find. Have a look, where it stands it's not the best, it's not as good as Heathrow, but there's still some quite good shops, I think they've redone it recently. Okay, so the first place we're headed to is Mulberry because it's so busy. They have um, a new bag that I wanted to have a look at. I've seen it online. Oh. I just wanted to have a look at it in person. Also, these boots are stunning, but they're too high. Okay, so these were the bags I was talking about, but in like a coral color. I actually don't like them in real life. They're a bit too chunky. Always my favorite section at the airport. Busted. I like those. I've never seen this before. It's the fragrance from Zadig and Voltaire, but it smells so good. Please ignore my horrendous nails. I just suggested this to Mike and he was like, I don't think I want to smell like a Bentley. It, it like actually a smells seat. good. It, smell like a it doesn't seat. smell like leather. It, no, I'm not going to spray. I can't open it with one hand, but smell it. It smells good. It doesn't smell like new car seat. Sure, I promise you. It's nice. I mean, why would you buy that? I actually still haven't smelt this yet, the Hermes Twilly. It's actually really nice. I mean, I definitely don't need any nail varnish at home, but <laughs> I could do with some right now. I've never actually seen or heard anyone talk about this range before from Hermes. It's so good. This one, this one, this one. They're all really good. This one, I want to try. So anyone want some Megan and Harry biscuits? <laughs> Someone's gone rogue. Can you spot him on the hunt for SPF? Mike uses this SPF every single day. He refuses to try anything else. It's actually really good, but uh, he's gone to stock up. We got a little bit carried away smelling perfume. Me. Well, me and you. Mike's just a bit more decisive than me. He basically picked one for me. I picked one for him. I might steal yours. No chance. And we're now a little bit late. Hello, guys. So we have literally just got into our hotel room, and I'm sitting down to film my haul video. I told you it was a real-time haul. Probably looking a bit rough right now because we just got off the plane. But I have my bag full of goodies from Duty Free. I actually ended up buying quite a few things, um, but my favourite, and one which we have already consumed half of, are these. Dear Lord, limited edition. Why are they limited edition? These should be made all the time. Or, the, or not, because I would eat them way too much. Crunchy caramel M&Ms, basically like a dime bar and an M&M mixed together. Mike, can you hide these? Just take them away. Take them away, don't give them back. Um, and then- You're not allowed stories again. <laughs> Mine. On the plane, he fell asleep and I just kept on eating them. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what did I get? I'm just gonna pull things out, not in order. Um, the first thing I got was a travel exclusive, like double duo um, packet of the Clarins Instant Lip Perfector. I love these, my ones have expired um, and so I don't have any at the moment and I just, yeah, I just I just bought, bought the, the duo because I love them so much. There's the Rose Shimmer and the Apricot Shimmer in here. My lips are so dry at the moment and I really love these because they're such a nice like conditioning kind of lip treatment but at the same time they have a little bit of colour. Love these, so nice. The next thing, uh, Mike bought this actually, this is for Mike, this is his Body Shop Skin Defence SPF 50. I've spoken about this a lot before, I really like this, it's super super lightweight, it almost feels like a serum on the skin but it has SPF 50, broad spectrum um, and... Mike uses it every single day, so um, it's actually quite, I'm very impressed with Mike's um, skincare regime in the past year or so. He used to use absolutely nothing, but now he is using protection on his skin, which is always good. This, I think, is normally about £20. I feel like it was 15 or something in the airport. 13. 13 pounds. Oh, it's only the 40 mil though, isn't it? It's not the 100 mil. It's only the little one. Um, so that is that. Then Mike and I chose fragrances for each other, and... Um, I have to say, I wanted to get him, I'm going to talk about my one first actually because it makes sense. I ended up getting, on Mike's recommendation, the Versace Dylan Blue. I have never heard anything at all about this fragrance before. I don't, I haven't heard anyone speak about it, I haven't heard, seen any ads for it, I haven't, maybe I've been living under a rock, but it smells so good. It's quite sweet. It also has the most extra packaging you've ever seen in your life. Like. This is the small bottle and it comes in this giant box. You open it up and it's like, hang on, I'm probably gonna throw it on the floor if I'm not careful. It's like, it's serious. It's pretty serious, very Versace. It's very, very fruity when you first spray it. But it has something really, I don't know, I just really like it. I, I literally know nothing about it, I don't know what the notes are, but 
To me, it smells quite passion fruity. <laughs> probably making that up. It smells so good. Anyway, so Mike originally wanted to get me the Hermes Twilly fragrance, which I agreed with him when we first sprayed it. It smelt lovely, but after about half an hour of walking around smelling all the other fragrances, I smelt it again and it had got kind of um, really overpowering and it had gotten a little bit stronger. Um, so we ended up not going for that and going for this one instead and I'm really happy we did. And then in terms of what I wanted to buy Mike, I wanted to get him the guys version of that because it smells so good. Kind of, it had like Blue de Chanel vibes but a little bit different. But they only had the 200 mil size. Um, so I didn't know if we, at the moment we only have hand luggage checked in for the way back so we wouldn't have been able to take it with us. Um, so I wanted to get everything that I bought under 100 mil so that it could come in our hand luggage with us. So um, I didn't get him that. And then I ended up getting him the Hermes um, Eau de Mandarin Ombre. I will definitely be stealing this. It smells so good. It's a really lovely unisex fragrance. I had never seen that collection of fragrances before. And to be honest, I thought they were gonna be like their high end, like premium line. I don't know if they are, but they actually, in terms of price point, they're about 60 pounds. Usually if you end up looking at like the higher end price point perfumes, like the Chanel and Dior ones are like a hundred and something. So I was actually quite surprised that they weren't as much as I thought, they're like the same as kind of a normal perfume. Um, but, well, obviously like not, the cheaper end of perfume you know what i mean it's the same as like a high normal high-end perfume um and the bottles are beautiful i i kind of wanted to get the rhubarb one for myself but i was like i'm not gonna get two this smells just divine mike can you wear this tonight please you better not be spraying that on yourself right now it's my program i'm spraying it on myself because it smells good i'm not impressed oh my god it's so good i think this is too girly i think you should let me keep it it's mine. So good, honestly, so good. Then what else did I get? Oh, the last things I got. Oh, I actually, there's still my nail varnish. I bought, Mike, can you grab it for me? In, yeah, out of my yeah. handbag. Yeah. Um, I also, as you guys will have noticed at the beginning of the vlog, my nails were shocking. So I bought a new nail varnish and painted my nails on the plane, which Mike told me you weren't allowed to do because I they're flammable. I, I mean, I think it's fairly antisocial as well, but I was like, pfft. We were delayed, sat on the runway, I'm gonna do it. Um, I ended up going for OPI, he just took the perfume. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's a man's perfume. Um, this is hopelessly devoted to OPI, so I think this is from the Lisbon collection, which is their summer collection. Painted my nails on the plane, it's like a really nice nude peachy colour. Um, really like this a lot. Um, so I got that, and then last but not least, I stocked up on YSL which is my favourite thing to do in the airport. Um, I actually got two of these mascaras because one is for my mum who is babysitting River, um, or weekend babysitting River, um, and it's the Mascara Volume Effect Fossil The Curler. I've spoken about this before, it was in my monthly favourites when it came out. It's the new version of the Effect Fossil and it's freaking amazing. Um, so I got one of those for me and one of those for my mum as a gift. And then I also got the Shocking Liquid Eyeliner because my eyeliners, my liquid eyeliners have all kind of dried up and I don't have one that's on point at the moment so I wanted to get a new one and I've had this before and loved it because it has the staying power of something that stays really long. Um, yeah, it's been a long day, I can't think of something that stays really long. Um, so yeah, I got a new one of those, so good. If you're looking for a liquid liner, I really recommend these. If you like the felt tip ones, look like a sharp felt tip um and that is it that's everything that i got in the airport i was very happy with my purchases we ended up almost being late for the flight but we weren't um and now we have arrived i'm actually vlogging this trip so i'm not going to show you the view that i'm looking at right now but let me just tell you it's freaking stunning there's a vineyard right outside i've got a bottle of wine waiting for me i say for me to drink that makes me sound like an absolute alcoholic we have a bottle of wine to share waiting for us we will probably have a glass don't worry about me um so yeah can you tell I'm a bit deliriously excited about the prospect of a weekend of just sleep? Like, it is the best thing ever. Hope you guys enjoyed this impromptu video, and I will see you very soon. Bye!